Hey, it's Jang here from UltimateRC.com with a quick look at the Team Losi Racing, that's TLR, 22 two-wheel drive buggy. This car is very new on the market, but it's already winning a lot of races. This is a fairly revolutionary design. It's very different from anything else that is currently available or has been available in the recent past. Its highly optimized design has it extremely narrow and very, very low to the ground from front to rear. Its biggest departure from the status quo? The use of an aluminum flat plate chassis. Well, almost flat. That's something you haven't seen in mainstream electric two-wheel drive vehicles in a long, long time. Taking a high-level look at the chassis overall, the front suspension layout is fairly conventional, but they did include big bore shocks now, larger in diameter than what is typical. In the center, you have this very narrow aluminum chassis that has two options for how to build the transmission. You can either run it at the rear with a three gear transmission, or you can run it as a mid motor setup with a four gear transmission that allows the motor to rotate in the standard direction and still transfer weights to the rear under acceleration. The car has an exceptionally long wheelbase and wide track. It is as large as the rules will allow. A unique bend in each of the A-arms keeps weight low and clearance high while also allowing you to change your suspension stiffness without affecting droop and travel. To allow room for both motor mounting options without having to require a low profile servo, they actually use a straight sliding steering rack instead of bell cranks. The only performance casualty of the unique setup of the 22 is that you have to mount the speed control above the battery. That raises the center of gravity just a little bit, but I think it's a small price to pay. Traction rolling is not a problem with this vehicle thanks to the low shock towers, low body, and especially that very low aluminum chassis. Speaking of which, this is not just a flat piece of aluminum that's been bent up around the edges. This is a finely crafted, hard anodized piece of engineering. It's clearanced in the rear, it's lightened in the center, and it kicks up early in the front, mounting the suspension pivot block underneath the aluminum plate. Now, of course, all that is very fascinating, but how does it drive? Uh, pretty damn well, if you ask me. This is my very first time driving the car, and I'm operating the camera at the same time. I did no special setup, just threw on some tires, and I'm running just the kit stock setup. Literally, my very first time driving the car. It's smooth. That long wheelbase makes it very forgiving and it actually drives almost more like a stadium truck than a buggy. It does have still the agility and the ability to uh, rotate left to right in the air that a buggy would have, but it really feels more like the forgiveness of a stadium truck when you wheel it around. Tune it up and put it in the hands of a professional driver like oh, TLR's own Dustin Evans and then it becomes absolutely lethal. Now this here is just some footage from practice. In the main events in the 2011 NorCal Off-Road Championships, the Losi guys, they just dominated. Absolutely owned the entire field. They were just untouchable. The 22 is just an amazing buggy, and it handles differently than any other buggy that's out there on the market. It's not the undisputed king yet, and certainly some drivers will not enjoy its particular handling characteristics. But if you can make that special bond between man and machine with the Losi 22, you can really tear up some tracks. So thanks for watching this quick look at the Losi 22 buggy. If you have any questions or comments about it, please be sure to post them up on the friendly forums at ultimatercom See you there.